Even the International House of Praise and Worship on Christmas Sunday, Brother Billy's on a roll. He just chopped Daryl in the neck right there, knocked him out, and there's Reginald, took him out. He's an equal taker out or opportunist. He doesn't care. He'll take him all out. He just found out that his wife's sleeping with the choir director. Everybody's falling out. There goes the Kevin right there. He pushed him over. This guy's already got a couple felonies, and that one right there is going to press charges on you, I promise you, both of them. So you can go ahead and get ready to do about 15 to 20 on them. So he's shaking it off. He don't care. He's had plenty of energy drinks. We are ready to celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ today. So y'all, if you ain't ready, you might as well leave. Look at him fanning the flames right there. He said most of y'all are going to hell anyway if you don't change your ways. And Timmy said, I know it. I'm getting myself right. And then old Peggy here, she just found out she saved a lot of money by switching to Geico. And Brother Billy flipping the bird and blowing the horn. He said it's going down like a one-ply toilet paper in a house full of chili lovers today. Yes, sir. Let's see. Oh, gosh, dang. Did he just hit Earl in the forehead? Now, Earl will beat you for that. Now, do the high step. Keep playing if you want to. They said if you want to be timid, you go to a Southern Baptist. We here are saying happy birthday, Jesus, and that's where we're, we're doing it. We're doing it big. There's Chuck Berry on the guitar. We are throwing it down here. We are ready to praise and worship. All right? Now, let's switch over from the International House of Praise, and let's go to the International House of Pancakes, where Brother Val said he just had the all-star at the Waffle House. Two of them, actually. His blood sugar's up about 350. He says he feels a little faint, but he's got about three hours in him, so you about as well settle in. He ain't going nowhere. I asked him one time, I said, Brother Bow, what you going to do if you get to heaven and the pearly gay tracks are made out of donuts? What are you going to do? He said, I'm going to walk up just like this right here and go, uh, 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 St. Peter, can I get one of them donuts? I'm, my blood sugar's low and I'm hungry. So we praise him today, y'all. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday, Jesus. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that was funny. That was, that was funny. That was funny. Uh, but I have to say, I have to say, in all truth, you can tell that these pastors are playing on people's emotions. They are all excited. The music is, is giving out that frequency that gets people all excited. And how many times did you notice he literally pushed the person? Like, yeah, you come and push me by my neck or you push me by my head. I have a tendency that I'm going to go backwards. We see this all the time. But the people are always ready for it, though. They know it. They're looking for it. They want it. And why is it? It's like a drug. It's like a drug of, of escape for people. The sad part about it is that people want this escape. And they believe that for that moment, when they hit me with the with the forehead slap or the neck chop, that or the music is is going and everybody, the energy in the building, everybody's hyped and, you know, no different than a club and that, that anthem song comes on. Everybody gets hyped for it. For that moment, you feel peace about all the problems that you have. They all float away. You're not dealing with it. Guess what? The moment you come back to reality, hour later, two hours later, the next day, all your troubles, all your issues, they're right back with you. You have not dealt with any of them. You could constantly pray. You could constantly listen to your gospel music and sermons and read your books, your Bibles. But until you take action, until you make up your mind that you're going to change how you're living, change what's going on, you'll always be susceptible to those types of people who pray on the fact that you are experiencing a weak moment and they'll keep you in that weak moment as long as they possibly can and that's taking advantage of people taking advantage of people's hopes and their dreams and ultimately leaving them in mental spiritual and financial poverty so y'all have a great day remember that you got free yourself from this bullshit free yourself let me let me, let me hold up you got to free yourself from this bullshit you got to study, recognize how much bullshit it is. Look at the world around you and see how the energy is moving towards whatever direction that you want your life to go in and then jump in. Hop on in. Don't fight against it, but flow with it. Get into the energetic flow of it. And the more and more you get into the energetic flow of it, the greater your life will be. And you'll be able to see the things come to you. If you still want to attribute them to your deity, go right ahead. I don't care. What I care about is you finding happiness, is you being a greater version of yourself. That's what I care about. So you have a great day. And remember always, you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.